Good morning, my name is Pete Miller and this is my lovely wife Yvette Miller and we have a special needs child that's attending the Champions Club at HSC, his name is Jaden Miller. We realized we have a special needs child, we didn't know what, what's really wrong with him and in 2014 when we arrived here, we, he was diagnosed with, with autism. Children with autism are on a spectrum, so they have a wide variety of, of behavioural issues. Jaden, from a very, very small age, we realised that we couldn't take him to places. He would go into sensory overload very, very quickly. He was extremely sensitive to sound, to light. So it really restricts you. We, we don't go out to dinner. We, we don't go to places where there are crowds. We don't do festivals, we don't do um, fun parks and places where people take their children every day and that's just enjoying life. That's not even getting to the part where you'd like to come to church. We struggled in the town where we used to stay to go to church with him because he was very disruptive, didn't want to sit still. The children's church there couldn't really cope with him. Just one day out of the blue, one of my our closest friends said to us but listen I'm in a church that's opening a champions club and in August 2019 we came to HOC and when we walked into the champions club uh, this is what we needed it's a sensory room and we were blown away by this champions club made a huge difference in our lives so that we can attend church as a mom, knowing that I'm going to leave my child in somebody's hands that I don't even know yet, and having that assurance from the minute we walked in here, just feeling the compassion that went into taking care of these kids so that we can actually attend the service. Um, not once have I ever been concerned about his safety or the kind of care that he's receiving. To come back to the financial implications, just to give you a random sense, a sense of what's out there. For us to put him in a special needs school at this stage is around about 6,000 rand a month. Nappies around 1,300 rand a month. So that's not even feeding him at this stage, that's just taking care of his uh, special needs. The kind of things that you offer in the Champions Club, those sensory items, those are not things that, that people like us can afford in our everyday home um, to put up for him and that are so important for them because they, they, everything about them is sensory, whether it's auditory or visually or touch, um, that is the world of autism. They, they perceive the world so different and through that and it makes it difficult and then usually once a day he will have a meltdown many things can trigger a meltdown and um, it, it's normally because of a sensory overload so it can be it can literally be something he's watching on TV he can be hot maybe he's just overdressed um, obviously tired things like that pain pain is something that they simply because he can't verbalize it so he lashes out the best way he can and often that would be to try and transfer the pain and that's why he would self-injure so he would beat his head or bite himself and there's truly there's no quick fix you have to be there you have to just support him hold him love him stay patient and in the meantime run through your mind trying to get to what what could have caused this well the greatest change that i can tell you immediately is um with autistic children routine is extremely important so we came to church once we stopped outside he went into that um, champions club his face just lit up with all the things that were there. He found his favorites very quickly because he loves musical things with lights and um, that was it. The gratitude you can't put in words. Um, it's because of the Champions Club that we are here and that we are in HOC. For me it's a privilege to come here and to know that there's sponsorships going out and, and to, all, to all the sponsors first of all Thank you for, for donating. I believe that uh, 
the money is not wasted, it's, it's well managed, it's well spent. But as a family we are very grateful towards the church and for all the sponsors that's donating towards this uh, NGO and to Tukisa and the Champions Club for making it possible for us to come to church once a week, enjoy ourselves, have a service with everybody else and it's awesome. I can't say any more than that, it's just um, again like I say, had, had there not been a Champions Club we wouldn't be standing here today, so thank you very much.